Good morning. Today I was given an error on a file and I'd like to show you how to fix it. So I'm going to take my file number, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to bring myself into the icon sign member. Uh, most of you know that you can go through authorized programs, or you should go through authorized programs. Um, I'm going to paste it in. Notice this E is an error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rerun the file and get the error message. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to run the file using a P, and I'm going to put the word none here. If you put the word none here, you'll get the error message in your spool file, even if you're not um, the user on the control file that normally gets it. Okay, we're going to hit Shift F12 to run it. Then I'm going to run at EDI Park because I want to see the file itself. It's thinking. Notice the system down on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to bring myself out. You can go to your spool file from 8 and 4 or 8 and 3. Um, I do the spool file through my command line. The 111 and the one that says IPOM sign member is the file. You can take a 5 next to it just to take a look at it. I'm going to move down to the error message and I'm going to look at see what the error message is. And what it's saying is there's a foreign segment. And I can actually tell what the foreign segment is because it's right here. But if you don't know, what you can do is you can capture this uh, number, the SHIP2 number in the N1, and you can copy it. And you can go back into your file itself and then move down to Find, paste it in, and then hit Shift F4 to find it. And I want you to notice all these or they don't have uh, the quote in front of it. Uh, this is our foreign object, and I'm going to show you how to remove it and push the file back up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to email it to myself. I take a one next to the op line and I'm emailing it to myself. I'm going to go into my email. And my file is here. The file is going to open up into Notepad. Okay, I'm going to make it larger. I'm going to take out the header here because that's for our purposes only, and take out the spaces. Then I'm going to do a Control A and an Edit and a Replace. I'm going to hit Delete to remove that, and I'm going to put the quote in here. And I'm going to leave the Replace blank because I don't want to replace it with anything and I replaced it. Now our next step is to actually get rid of these spaces, but Notepad um, actually doesn't get rid of the spaces, WordPad does. So I'm going to do Control A to, to highlight everything, right click, copy, and I'm going to go to my search and find my WordPad. Actually I have it up here, you can type WordPad down here. And once you have WordPad open, you're going to right click and you're going to paste. Okay, I'm just going to go to the top just to make sure the ISA and everything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a control A and we're going to bring it back into Notepad because Notepad is the program that the AS400 likes to push in files. So we're going to copy this, go back into our Notepad, we're going to do a new. Uh, there we go. I'm not going to save this, we don't need it. And I'm going to paste it and it's a beautiful file. Now I'm going to save that file in the land folder called X12 order. So I already have it set. I'm going to name it, you can pretty much name it anything, I'm going to name it sc.edi and I'm going to save it. I'm going to close it and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to go look at it in the file explorer because it comes in with the extension, um, text extension. Yeah, let's click that open. Let's go to the X order. And now what we're going to do is we're going to right click. And we're going to rename it. And we're going to just take off the extension and allow, um, we're going to take off that extension and allow it to go into the AS400. In X12 order, every seven minutes, um, a file populates an iPound sign member. And that's pretty much how you fix the file.